Hello everyone and from this video onwards we are going to look at uh, a new when basically we're going to start a new topic called strings all right so in the previous few videos we learned about linked lists we did few problems on them and we'll follow the same pattern here we'll look at uh, the theory part of our strings here and then uh, we'll jump to interview problems and this is how we'll uh, complete the topics and Bible. All right. So yeah. So okay. Without any delay, let's start this uh, video. So first of all, let's talk about what are strings. So strings are basically defined as a stream of characters. Okay. Strings are used to basically represent text and are generally represented by enclosing text within quotes as this is a simple string. Okay, like double quotes. Cool. Now, if you have learned about a uh, little bit strings in your C language, mm -hmm. so what happened there was we have to make a character array, and there we used to show string like this. Okay, and uh, Basically, every character here was part of a array, right? And if we have to, you know, search anything or remove anything, we have to iterate over the array C. Okay. But since this was a very complex and tedious task, we have a very good function in our uh, C plus plus. It is that we have a class in C plus plus. All right. Called S V D string class. So uh, let's see what it is all about. So basically it is that C++ has in its definition a way to represent a sequence of characters as an object of the class. So rather than an array, it represents characters as object of the class. Okay. So this class is basically called uh, std string. All right. So the string class stores the characters as a sequence of bytes with functionality of allowing access to a single byte character. So um, what did I just meant here? What? was yeah so what i was saying hmm. so rather than going into the array part we just simply write it like this programming knowledge all right so that is how you simply do it okay cool rather than declaring a where string basically array of uh, characters we simply uh, define string in c++ like this and we have like c++ standard template library of our string class to help us you know to have some very few basic functions okay now let's uh, jump to our vs code and let's try and run uh, perform these things okay so let's have a main here and let's try to jump into string okay Easy. And simply you will see out yes. Let's render this thing. Okay, we got the correct output. Yeah, all right. Okay, there are like let me tell you a few functions, few functionalities of SQL of C of SQL of basically string in C. I tell you the basic ones which you'll be using and after that you may uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can obviously serve the web for it. Suppose I make a string S1 and I name it programming. And if I have string S2 and I make it knowledge. Now what I can do is simply see out S1 dot length. And we can 
pass here out as true of length. Let's enter in this thing. Let's see if it works. Okay. So basically, okay. I do it with Messi. Cool. Hmm. So it's 11 and 9 basically. So that means string 1 contains 9 characters. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's right. And string is 2 contains 9 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Yeah, that is also correct. So that means we are getting the correct output. So this is a length function. Right. We can do one more thing is. Let me show you a very beautiful thing. If you do this thing, it will concatenate both these strings. Concatenate basically means to join any two things. So we are, here we are concatenating two strings, S1 and S2. Let's enter in it. Yeah, see? We have concatenated the strings. Okay, nice. Okay. And uh, now let me tell you one more thing. The, uh, Nice one. Suppose what I do here is let me change the thing a little bit. Okay, so we have few uppercase and we have some few lowercase. We have to convert it all to lower what I will do. So what I'm just simply going to do, I'm going to write transform. Okay. I'm going to have s1 dot begin. Okay, I'm going to have s1 dot end. I'm going to have s1 dot begin. I'm simply going to write to upper. Okay. Okay, and if I just see out S1 now, let's try, let's see what would be the output. Hmm. Okay. This should not have been happening. Okay. So basically what is, what's the problem here is, okay, there's no problem. It was a little bit mistake. I didn't save the code. So okay, we are getting all the uppercases later here. And if I want to have lowercases, I'll just change it to low. And I'll save it again. And let's run on it again. See, I'm getting all the lowercase letters. So these are some of the basic uh, STL functionalities of a string class. And rest you can obviously, anyways, check on serve the web but these are the few ones which you would be needing in your uh, like few of the questions and uh, things all right so yes i guess this was the introductory lecture for the string class and uh, i told you about what is a string how to define string in c plus plus and we talked about few of the basic uh SQL functionality so that's it for this video i guess and uh, we look more into it in, in the next video and uh, thank you for watching See you later.